What's going on everybody, Logan here for a new video. And today I'm talking about the State Farm Drive Safe and Save program. Uh, it's the little tracker that's gonna be right there. I have mine on my uh, the windshield, but it tracks how you drive. Uh, and the better you drive, the better discount you get. Uh, me, and like every month it saves me about, anywhere from what, 10, 15 bucks. I mean, it's not a bunch, but if you you know multiply that times however long you're enrolled in the program, you can save a little bit of money. So as time goes on, it can really save you some money. Uh, but today I'm talking talking about the negatives. Uh, I made a video last year about, you know, just generally what the program is. And uh, if you haven't watched that video, I'm gonna leave that link down in the description below. You can see me going into the app, using it, uh, kind of viewing some trips. But as far as the negatives, uh, for one, they're gonna sell your information. Uh, they sell it to third-party advertisers. Uh, so if you go to Walmart, uh, ice cream shop, Kroger, anywhere, I mean, they will sell that information. Uh, that's just kind of known. Uh, me personally, I don't care. Uh, but some people, they really do value their privacy and they don't want that information being out there. So if you're the kind of person that doesn't want your information being sold, might want to avoid this. Now, another negative to this is State Farm very well could use this information against you. I mean, I haven't seen any cases of it, but you know, what if, you know, you're on your phone, you know, changing your song or something. Uh, what if you're speeding? What if you break hard and you end up getting into a wreck uh, or just, you know, you damage your car somehow, run off the road, hydroplane or something like that? You know, they very well could use the information against you because State Farm, they don't want to pay money. They don't have to pay. And if they can put blame on you, I mean, that's a real possibility. And imagine, you know, you total your car and State Farm denies your claim because of one of those reasons. And uh, that would be devastating because, you know, what if you're in a Corvette or a really high Mercedes, an expensive car, and they just completely deny your claim. I mean, you are the one that's going to foot the bill. So I haven't seen any cases of this because I was researching to see if anyone said anything about it, uh, but I haven't found anything. But if whoever's watching this, if you have run into this kind of issue, please comment down below. I will pin your comment to the top uh, just so everyone can see and, you know, leave details in there as far as, you know, what happened and if they denied your claim, uh, you know, just leave exactly what happened when they said and everything. And what if, you know, you're outside your area of coverage? I mean, what if you travel to Canada, Mexico and something happens? I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not an insurance agent. I don't know all the rules as far as insurance goes, but, you know, what if something happens? You know, you don't want to be left on, you, you don't want to be the one to foot the bill when you have an insurance, you're paying for insurance, and they kind of just throw you out the fish to eat. Oh, and one other thing. I thought that I was only going to have this right here in for six months. No, you have to keep it in your car to keep your discount. So I guess they're kind of relying on that device, making it where, you know, you drive safer, knowing that somebody's looking at how, how hard you brake, how hard you accelerate, if on your phone, speeding, all that kind of stuff. If somebody's looking at you, you might drive better. So they're kind of counting on you. Um, just save the money. I mean, less claims they need. If you're driving safer, you have a less chance of getting into a wreck. So that's probably the way they're looking at it. And hey, if they can make money by selling your information, hey, it's a win-win for them. But really, as far as negative, that's all I can really think of. Uh, I mean, they, yeah, they sell your information. You agree to that when you get enrolled in the program. I mean, they track your miles. Um, I mean, all the other stuff I listed in my other video. Um, but that's really it. I mean, it saves you money. I really don't care. I mean, I don't drive crazy all the time, but really that's all I have to say about the State Farm Drive Safe and Safe program. But if you have had a bad experience, just put it down in the comments. I'll either pen it, like it, heart it or something. And just so other people can see before they actually get enrolled in the program, or if you're already enrolled and you're thinking about getting another six months or re-enrolling, check the comments just to see any kind of negative experiences that other people have gotten being in this program. But guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.